Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Pisces. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. We have, ooh, sexual encounter and wheel of fortune. What is this? Something is changing. It could be a situation where you had like maybe like more of like a sexual bond with somebody or a sexual um, connect. Like it was just strictly sexual or something like that with this person and it could be changing into some, the dynamic could be changing. Yeah, we have the world here. Something is changing. Or some type of connection that was strictly just sexual or based off of lust and sex is ending. It was like, it's, yeah, especially with the Page of Wands. Like, it was like, I don't even know. Like, hookup energy or somebody were like, it was like more of like a crush or it was just, I don't know. It was like very fleeting. The encounter was meant to happen. These two people were supposed to meet. But... It's, it's not, it was nothing that was ever supposed to be long term. So this could be the, I don't know. Let's see. So clarify the page of wands, the emperor. So you're about to hear from your divine masculine, Aries energy. Clarify sexual encounter. We have the 10 of cups. Yeah. It's almost like somebody where it was like more like strictly sexual or something like that. It could be turning into something more. Clarify the wheel of fortune. The page of swords. Somebody has learned some type of lesson here or acquired some type of knowledge, clarity that's changing things here. Clarify the world and possibly leading to an ending of a ending of a cycle. And we have death. Well, the world and death. Something has definitely ended. Death is um Scorpio energy. So two of swords in the back of the deck. So somebody was indecisive and stressed the hell out about this. Hmm. You know what somebody's stressed out about? About how they feel like you guys won't be able to settle, settle your def differences or how they won't be able to make something right with you because you have bound, strict boundaries um, put in place. And this person kind of feels like they're, they possibly are permanently left out in the cold. Like they can't bring the situation back together or something like that. So tell me more about what this means for my collective. What does this mean for my collective? We have the strength card, Leo energy. Tell me more. We have the ace of cups. Okay. The tower, Scorpio energy. What's the tower? The five of swords. What about the five of swords? The tower. The divine intervened because somebody was playing games. Or yeah, somebody was playing games or some the, the tower came into some type of toxic. Let's see. Five of swords, the tower, the empress. Taurus energy, and we have the four of wands. Why is the five of swords here though? Yeah, the five of wands. What's what's the conflict about? Children? Children and the five of wands and the five of, five of swords, the eight of cups. They're walking away from a situation where they were fighting with somebody about children. Or there was conflict or some type of betrayal in regards to a child. Uh-oh, here we go with that messiness. Wow. There. Okay, so this may be a specific message when it, this reading. Okay, guys? Someone, there was some type of betrayal or toxic dynamic or some type of like mind games being played in regards to a child. But like I said, didn't I say that something was found out that's changing things? Somebody could have found out that a child isn't theirs. They could have found out something about somebody being pregnant. I don't know. There's something here in regards to children that's changing a situation. It's a tower moment. And it's like giving somebody the strength to leave a situation or overcome some type of obstacle to have this new beginning in love with you come into union with their divine counterpart because something has been revealed. Whatever it was, whatever was holding this person back from having the courage, like keeping them from having the courage of to walk away from this situation was something to do with children. There was some type of manipulation or mind games being played about children. Weird. So tell me more. We have the four swords, but it's like they found out the truth about the, the situation or something became clear and it's giving them the strength and the courage to walk away from something here. Okay. Uh, we have the four swords in the long way. So somebody need, or some of you, it was just somebody needed to heal their inner child because we do have the four swords in the long wait card. Miriam, Spirit says you guys both needed to heal your inner child. Yep. You both needed to go within. 
Yep, look at this. Confirmation. Healing. Accepting to grow. Self-care. Healthy choices. Yeah. So, what was this? So, what was revealed? Like, with this page of swords energy, what was revealed? Some type of secret. The high priestess. Or something that, a secret or something that someone's intuition was already telling them. But maybe they didn't have proof of. Let's see. We have the four of cups. What about the four of cups? It's almost like it was something that somebody was like not wanting to come to terms with, or something that some someone was ignoring. Um, two of wands and the dark night of the soul, yeah. And waiting. Three of wands, yeah. That's more energy. And waiting on what? The three of pentacles, the seven of wands. You guys could be waiting for this person. Somebody's been waiting for the other person to come in and try to make things work with them and fight for them. Whether that's you've been waiting on them or they've been waiting on you or you guys have both been kind of waiting for each other to make a move or to, to try to bring things back together. How does um how does my collective feel about this person? How does my collective feel about this person? We have the hero font and we have ghosting. You don't feel like it's over. You guys may feel like you're going to end up with this person or... You may feel like you've learned a, some type of lesson from them. You may not feel like it's over. Clarify the Hierophant and Ghosting. Yeah, the Five of Pentacles and Hiding Feelings. You feel like this person does not give you the emotional fulfillment that you you want. They, they're not giving you what you deserve. You feel like this person kind of leaves, like, not kind of, they do leave you out in the cold. They make you feel rejected. One more. Six of Cups. What's the Six of Cups? The Queen of Swords, or the Queen of Swords, and the Fool. So I just see that if this person comes towards you, if they return with wanting to have a new beginning with you, you are going to be guarded with this person, and you are going to have boundaries in place. You could be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or you could have significant air placements in your birth chart. But yeah, you just don't know what to, like, you don't quite trust this person. They give you anxiety. I think you feel like there are things that are hidden from you. Pisces energy with the moon. We have awakening. What about awakening? Unawakened. See, what is that about? What's the T? And magician. What about magician? The sun. Some of you guys are curious to know if this person... Oh, you know what? You guys have been wondering like, if this person has changed at all. If they have evolved at all. If they have awakened at all. But And I feel like you're going to be getting clarity that this person still wants you. But with this rejection card here, there's something not right with this person. Like, they're still resisting something. Like they're, What is rejection here for? Like the whatever it is that you're you're curious to know about this person, you're gonna that's gonna be being revealed to you. Yeah, you're gonna realize that this person's still not ready for this connection. Like something's gonna become very clear to you. Yeah, two of pentacles, the two of cups. Somebody hasn't made up their mind about whether or not they really want a relationship. I feel like it's because they feel like they're still stuck in another one. Seven of Swords, and they're hiding this. Despite them wanting a new stable beginning with you, but I see them leaving that situation. What is triggering this person to leave that other situation? What is triggering them to do this? The Ten of Wands, yes, but why? Why the Ten of Wands? The Hanged Man, yes. What's the new perspective coming from? Pisces Energy, the Ten of Pentacles. See, they're releasing somebody. It could be someone that they're married to. Somebody that they're codependent on. They pay, pay bills with this person. They could live with this person. They could have a family with this person, whatever. What, what about this karmic partner? See, something was an illusion about that person. Divinely guided to do what? Yeah, it's something I'm telling you. They found out some type of secret that this karmic was keeping from them. Like, they found out that this person lied to them, deceived them in some way. Like, this person could have even faked a pregnancy. It's something like that. It said they found out that this karmic made them false promises. They manipulated them, used their weaknesses against them, lied to them in some way. They couldn't trust this person. I think that this person lied to them. They either said a child was theirs or they said that they were pregnant or some they had they tried to do something use something about the kids against them oh if you leave i'm gonna take the kids it's something like that i don't know it was somehow this person used the kids to kind of keep this person to make this person feel like they needed to just stay with them or to choose them or something like that so let's see anything else in the tarot that they need in the spirit there's also like this energy of gossip here too. Like people like were maybe there was a lot of talk surrounding the situation or like, see, they there was like maybe gossip like, oh, that kid's not theirs or I don't know. Let's see. Anything else from the tarot? Divine timing again. We have the two of cups. So in divine timing, there will be some type of reunion here. But this divine timing card says patience needed surrender to the unknown. 
they're not telling you to wait on this person, but they're just telling you to just go with the flow and surrender to the un un unknown, like the card says. Like, don't feel like this need to have to like control the situation or need to know how everything is going to turn out. But I do see a reunion. Yeah, after a period of growth. Or somebody needs to make the decision to change, to heal, to grow. Because that card literally says accepting to grow. I feel like this person is resisting it, or they have been at least. Um, they need to make some healthy choices. And yeah, there needs to be self-care here. We have ripped apart. What about ripped apart? Ace of Pentacles. I think this person needs to learn how to be vulnerable. Okay, what about karmic partner? Knight of Swords. Clean up. Yeah, see, we have sudden action. See, at some point, this it's like this person is realizing that they love you. Like, something is being exposed. Because it says, ripped apart, vulnerable in love, love exposes the truth. And we have Ace of Pentacles, Karmic Partner, Knight of Swords, and the Cleanup card. And the Knight of Swords card literally says, sudden action or arrival. And it says, clean up. So, it's like someone's going to be taking some type of sudden action to cut a t cut ties with a karmic. Or to start working on themselves, clean up their life. What is what is it, though? It's time. So some type of divine intervention where they're not going to be able to run from healing and changing anymore, resist it any longer. What is it though? The hermit. It's it's just something that's being being illuminated to this person in, in solitude while they're soul searching, while they're in, introspecting, Virgo energy, um, King of Wands, Aries Leo Sag energy, and ghosting. What about ghosting? Magician. It's not over between you and this person. They just have been like resisting the inevitable is weird i don't know i just feel like something happened how did the divine intervene in this situation yeah they call it judgment on a situation renewal past actions and consequences it's like through karma scorpio energy the nine of wands yeah it's like this person has been they've been going through it with the judgment card and the nine of wands what is making this person the eight of wands Fast, swift change. Yeah, seven of pentacles. It's like something happened that made them reevaluate things. Yeah, the six of wands. What are the six of wands? Children. See, children and the what a catch. What about children? They're, I'm telling you, there could have been some type of legal situation that's going on in regards to kids, like a custody battle, a paternity situation. There's something like that. Somebody, somebody could have lost their kids um cps there's something going on with in regards to children so what does that do and what a catch they they want to spend time with you but they got something going on what is going on with their children hiding feelings and awakening with children four of pentacles and seven of wands the ace what's the children aspect six of swords strength to do what yeah, make a decision. Leave a toxic situation and embrace the light or stay in the toxic situation and reject the light. I don't know. Let's see. That children card is just... Sometimes I'll be like, okay, that's just probably inner child healing, which I do think that that is, a, that is a, like a, a something going on here. Like you, may, you and this person may have both needed inner child healing, but there's something else going on here. All right, let's get into this. Um, what is this? What's going on here? Okay. I just saw the twin flame card, which yes, we know this is a twin flame connection. Okay, so what is this situation that I'm seeing with the children? What is going on with, why does the children card keep coming out? See, karmic ties. Karmic situations, debt, not for you, karmic relationship. Look, and you see how this girl on this picture is pregnant? I don't know if you guys can see it, but she is. <gasps> yeah. I'm telling you, they're finding out somebody lied about a pregnancy, lied about a kid being theirs, lied about something. A, a pregnancy could have been terminated. There's something like that. I don't know, but it was found out. But that's why they're with this person. It has something to do with children. Tell me more. 
Lady Venus. So we have beauty and grace, romantic and sexual love. Explore your desires. What does that do with you? Miss Lazy Daisy. Lack of action. So this person finds you very beautiful. They desire you. They have love for you. But they're procrastinating. It says reluctance to make an effort, procrastination, lack of action. And is it because why? It's because Lady Spiderweb, new connection, shaping your reality, bringing together past, present, and future. It's like almost like they're caught up in some. See, what is Lady Spiderweb? Spiritual death. Somebody's like, somebody's caught up. Like, how do I say that? Somebody is caught under your spell not that you guys did spell work on them or they're caught up it's like mm -hmm. rebirth process self-discovery dark night of the soul which we did see dark night of the soul earlier okay heavy burden so this karmic relationship yeah clinging to an unhealthy relationship carrying old baggage responsibilities why is it because they have a child together See, old-fashioned, because of some type, okay, I'm telling you, they got somebody pregnant or something, guys, and like they, didn't I say too, that there was gossipers? I said, there's people talking about this relationship or throwing in their two cents, and it's like, they, somebody told them, oh my God, this is so messy. So it's like, they felt like they had to be with somebody. Either they're choosing to stay with somebody because they have kids with them, because it, it says old-fashioned values. You know, like, oh, you got to marry that person because you got them pregnant or you guys have kids together. So y'all need to stay together, that type of thing. Because we have outside influences, external factors, others affecting outcome, listening to other people's opinions. Chivalry and offer of love, old fashioned values. See, somebody told them, like, oh, you got somebody pregnant. You got to be with them. What in the world? And then for them to find out that it maybe wasn't even their kid or something like that. Tell me more. The young... Guys, children, the young, children, youthful spirit, inner child healing. What about the young? Is it that they need to heal their inner child or is it, is it actually children? She's a unicorn, one of a kind, hard to find, irreplaceable. I do feel like somebody feels like they do need, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This reading is taking a turn now. So what is this person about to do here? I'm telling you. Hold up. Twin flame. I already saw that card. One more. See, I saw this on the back of the deck. Long distance relationship. Beginning your journey. Beginning your journey to what? Healing? Yep. Taking action. Forward movement. Okay. So, I'm getting a lot of different things for this reading, guys. This one's messy. So, first, first scenario that I'm getting. Sorry. Laid out the one where they may have got somebody pregnant. They felt they had to stay with that person because of old-fashioned values. Scenario number two. This person may think that you are traditional. They're trying to get you stuck on them or stuck with them. So be careful. This person trying to have a child with you. It's, it's, it's important for you guys to know that this person is very well aware that they, they or let's say this, they, they feel they will never find anybody else like you. They feel like you are irreplaceable. You are one of a kind. So just know that this person does not want to lose you because they feel like you are somebody that they won't be able to replace. So I could definitely see he, from, what I, from what I see in the cards that this person would try to trap you. Scenario number three, okay? Somebody feels like they need to heal their inner child to be able to have a healthy relationship with you. But them feeling like you are one of a kind they feel like they have to really buckle down and start this journey of inner child healing to be able to listen. It's like they're finally, they've been procrastinating, giving you like some type of like um, traditional like an offer of commitment, right? But somebody is feeling like they need to take action to get their shit together because they may feel like you're getting too far away from them. They feel like, you know, they won't have this, opp this opportunity won't be available to them. It may already have begun. But it may not be available to them any um, longer or something like that. But we, this card literally says quicker than expected. So I feel like, so what is like, yeah, they're about to make some type of decision. Because this that could be also what this person realized too. With that, I told you they realized something. They could have realized that they're not going to find another you. Or that's what they feel. Like they, they've been looking and they've been searching and they've been uh, 
gathering knowledge or whatever you want to say and they feel like they won't be able to find anybody else like you that you were one of a kind so that's what they're realizing they're realizing that you were one of a kind and that they won't be able to find you and anybody else and amongst a bunch of other messy shit here and this card literally says aligning priorities must give up something to win this person if it comes down to them losing you forever and that this third party this other person they're gonna choose you so I do see that they're feeling like they have to hurry up and do something here. Yeah, I feel like it's talking about closed off. Planetary vibes. So it says planetary influences, celestial realms, connection with the cosmos. I think you guys have even blocked this person energetically. Like I feel like this person doesn't even feel you energetically. Yeah. Because we have guarded, emo yeah, avoiding emotional connection. Yeah. And it's like somebody's stressed about this. They don't feel your energy. Lack of sleep, breaking point, all-consuming worries. The devil's domain. They're maybe even obsessing over you. Talk about the devil. I saw the devil when I was in the when I was first shuffling. See, codependency, addictions, poor habits, obsession, spiritual awakening, breaking free and blooming. So they're about to break free from some type of, like I said in the very beginning, they're about to break. They're they're about to go through a spiritual awakening. They were definitely unawakened when you first met them and when you were first dealing with them. But they're about to break free from some type of codependent situation and start connecting with their higher self and go through the spiritual awakening. So, what again, give me a few more cards to tell me what is triggering this to finally happen. Is it because you guys are block, you know, blocking them out? What is causing them to finally do this? Because they definitely have been resisting it. We have use your head. Give it some thought. Think logically and rationally. Don't let your emotions control you. Give me a couple more. Worth the fight. Not giving up easily. Wanting to conquer. Fighting for your love. Yeah. And we have manifestation. Why is making them do this though? Deep wisdom. See, you can see. They're seeing something. Be wise and pay attention. Read between the lines. You can see the truth clearly. It's like they're reevaluating things. Like they're rethinking things. They don't feel like it makes any sense for them to let you go or something like that. So they feel like they need to come in and fight for you. Ghosted. Cut off abruptly. Lack of closure. Feeling rejected. What about manifestation though? Sacred emerald. Divine love. Yeah, this person has made you feel rejected or you felt like they're, like something is not over between you and this person. And Spirit is saying that it's not. Yeah. This is a divine connection. Yeah. What about proud rebel? Friendship. And negative emotion. Ooh, you guys are not about to take this person back, possibly. What about religious factors? Daydreaming, fantasizing, escapism, wishful thinking, trick or treat. See, you don't. There's something that you guys feel like is. How do I put that? There's something that you think is taboo about this person. Like they have some type of weird. I don't know. I'm going to get another clarifier. But you guys definitely don't you guys have harsh feelings towards them or you have anger resentment you feel like they've done you dirty so you guys if anything at the very i see you guys like just maybe trying to keep it casual with this person what is religious factors daydreaming and trick-or-treat solar eclipse which we have one coming up and we have battle wounds an ongoing battle weary guarded yeah hurt and past relationships so what are they about to do now nature calls take a breather ground yourself epiphany they're about to have an epiphany after a period of like grounding, like doing some reevaluating, thinking things through, being in hermit mode, this person does not like to emotionally open up or invest or express their feelings and emotions. But this person's having some type of change of heart. It could be around the solar eclipse where they're just about to realize something here. Yeah, instead of, um, they're just doing a lot of fantasizing and thinking about you. What about trick or treat though? Trouble lurking and photographs. What about this person from the past? Creativity, a strong urge to express yourself. Somebody feels like they need to come towards you and tell you how they feel. And this is something that they normally don't do. Yeah, opening their heart to you, preparing for new love, healing old emotional pain. They may come towards you and tell you that they're trying to prepare to be with you. Yeah, wonderful new beginning. Yeah, justice. Justice is going to be served in the situation. It's all part of the divine plan. Um... It's like you and this person are very different and they just don't really see how that like they feel like you guys are just almost too different to be together. Or you guys feel like you just don't have very much luck and love. But Spirit says we have two hearts here. Falling in love. The feeling is mutual, equal effort. So that's what you have coming in. 
somebody in this, but somebody you had an on and off relationship with and things have been very slow and stagnant with this person because of hesitation, skepticism, pessimism. But I feel like you're going to be seeing a new energy presenting itself in the connection um, in the future. But yeah, this person's been watching you. And I feel like you guys feel like nothing will come of this situation, but it actually will. Or maybe they just kind of thought that this nothing would ever really come of this. This person kind of puts you like on a pedestal. Not even kind of, they do. And they think you're too good for them. So they've just been very, they've been like projecting negativity into your connection before it even happened. Like just, oh, we're so different. We, we would never, we're never going to work out. Like, And they've been using that as, that as an excuse to like not take, this seriously as they should have i don't know but um, i don't know but um, 